Hello, Bumpy McSwiggums here, and welcome back to my weekly runs series. That's right, this is week two, episode three, Dungeons of Dreadmore. We're continuing from last week, the 16 episode marathon that it was, and we are going to press forward, as has been stated repeatedly. But we are going to move forward. We are going to do as best we can, as I'm sure you're all aware of. There's a giant squiddy that is not going to be alive very long. And there we have it. So, remember in the last episode, which I severely doubt you do, because I don't even remember what happened in the last episode, we were doing things, and things were happening, and people were dying, and it wasn't me, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depending on whether you're enjoying the series or not. If you're not enjoying it, well, I imagine it's unfortunate that I did die, and if you are enjoying it, well, I imagine it's rather fortunate I'm still alive. So, we are going to continue, and I can do a couple more of these things, if you will, you know, kind of do the whole Joker thing, but I, I just, I don't know, it just feels wrong. Hello, Blinky Bat. Well, my, uh, gaming options, my, uh, what's the term? The choices in, you know, I, I don't know. The diversity of my games and the amount of things to choose from has gone up over the past couple of days thanks to Steam's Autumn Sale, or whatever they're calling it. Steam, Steam, the magical fruit. Anyway, um, so yeah, we, we have quite a few new games that we are going to be throwing into the mix, as they say. And by they, I mean I just said it, so I am now plural. If you were unaware, you are now aware. Thank you. Um... Surprise! Trigger and traps. It's what I do. It's what I do. So yeah. Um, I am slightly sad as it looks like my motherboard got sold out, unfortunately, today. I am hoping that the bulk of my computer, because I did have two options on motherboards and I lamented over the two, and I finally decided on one, and then it's gone. So I, I'm a little bit I'm a little unhappy with how that worked out. No, oh, this is just fun. Alright, well, we will continue to eat little baby damage as we try to disarm the traps. So, yeah, I'm a little bummed out that the motherboard that I spent so much time actually choosing is gone. So, that's not a cool thing at all. However, I will not cry over spilt milk. Uh, they seem to be essentially the same. Oh, no. The, um... The two motherboards are essentially the same. One seems to have better... Oh, what is it called? Uh, like, cooling properties. It's coated with a specific thing. That is, essentially, it will last longer, though I've never had a problem with lasting on, like, computers and stuff. I really had parts that burned out. Uh, video cards and one particular computer did, but it was a computer and it wasn't the actual video cards, so... There we go, look at that. We just got some amazing, maybe, amazing axe. And it's a decent one, I would have loved to have had that, well, you know, before episode 8 of this run, because it would have made things much easier for me. But that's neither here nor there. Alright, so we're going to move along. We're going to kick this door down, maybe. we we'll break our foot on the door. Alright, we are going to attempt to... Ooh, it's a cold fish. To get some damage done. Ooh, I don't know what that thing is either. Ice worm. It's a dead ice worm. Oh, it's a little dragon. I just didn't see it from that angle before. Okay, that's kind of neat. Yeah, we're getting pounded a little bit from all sides here. It's not even like the most fun I've ever had, but... Eh. We managed. And then we have it. All that stuff looted up, except this shroom over here. And I suppose we could eat some of our food. And we'll digest that right up. Alright, so we're nearly full health again. So we'll clear this little area here, which you can't see because I'm lagging. There we go. This little area over here. And then we'll hopefully teleport up here and clear this little room. And then that should do it for level 6, guys. So 
Things are looking, ooh, rather nice, except for this room. It does not look all that nice. We're going to kill El Batty. We are going to do this. Followed by this. Critical hit. And he goes. The gnome goes down. Coldfish should go down. There we have it. Coldfish is down. Everything's just dropping before us. This guy wants to fight. I think he's actually could be a problem. There were several of them, and they were maybe casting spells. I don't know. But as it stands right now, not really that big of an issue. All right, so we're gonna slow him down and drop him. And then we're gonna gather up all the goodies that are left behind. Oh, there's still people alive. I suppose we should deal with them. Me 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 me. All right, dead head is down. Oh, whatever that is doesn't seem good. I think I'm gonna stay away from that stuff. That little gnome is it might be a jiggy gnome, but he is now a dead jiggy gnome. And we are freaking out here, guys. And I'm running in place. That's kind of problematic. Um, can we go to the wizard realm? Oh no. Uh, I don't know what's happening, guys. I do apologize for this. Hmm. If I alt tab or can I do anything? I can't even hit escape. Well, this isn't good. A poison crashed the game. It it's like totally freaked out now. Well, um, I guess I'm going to have to sh force shut it down and, and start this over. Uh, I don't know where the save is going to take me, so we'll have to see. Okay, so we're back from our wonderful crash, and we're going to go back into that room and do some more work, I suppose. Well, that was unfortunate. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Since I rather did not enjoy that at all. Much haywire as we're putting out. That was still not very cool. We take out the plague tato, the unhealthful earth golem. Oh, I suppose he's just an unhealthful golem. I added earth just for prosperity. The monstrous mask going down. Deadhead just teleported. Deadhead gonna get smacked for teleporting. I'm gonna get smacked myself. Oh, not. Alright, all sorts of stuff laying all over the place. We are going to pick up as much as we can. We know that our inventory is getting full. We are also talking in the third, fourth, fifth, sixth person, and we're plural now all of a sudden. I'm no longer a me or an I. I am a we. Yeah. It's all good, guys. It is all good up in the hood. Look at that. A something wand. Alright, so it looks like this area is clear. There is no further exploration anywhere except up in this region. So, if I'm not mistaken, which I very well may be, I believe I can literally backtrack by foot up there, as opposed to taking the wonky teleporters of love, having to deal with that. So, I think I will actually do that. Um. Then we're going to go to level 7, I believe. That is what we will do. And once there, we shall fight our way to level 8. I know. It wasn't quite as impressive as you were thinking. But that's okay. Alright. I apologize, guys. I'm looking kind of at the map and less where I'm going, and I am making wrong turns. So... Okay. It is quite alright. We didn't really lose that much, thankfully, with that crash. I was a little concerned. I will not lie, I was a little worried. And how much we're we gonna lose if we have to do it all over again? If the save file itself might have been corrupted? I, I don't know. There were some definitely scary circumstances surrounding that uh, error slash crash. Oh no! That sounded really bad. Didn't seem to really do anything to me though. Where do you go now? Where did you go? Come to me, deadhead. We must play. Nope, okay, no play. Alright, so we are going to find a staircase down. After we check our quest, we have none. So we are going to find the staircase down. 
we are very near one, but I don't think we can actually access it from where we're at. So, we're going to head west. And probably use another teleporter to see where it takes us. We did not find a way of opening, unfortunately, this. Alright. Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. I know I'm still snuffle awfully. I will try not to... sniffle too much in your ears, guys. I do apologize for the one I just gave you. So, we're going to come down here, and we are going to see what level 7 holds for those of us who have never made it here before. And... go. Do, 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 do. Oh! Well. Surprise! Hello, Hungry Diggle. Down with you, Diggle! Diggle Mage is also down. I just triggered a trap because I'm awesome. And we have this. Now, there was something I wanted to do with this, and I don't remember what it was. So we're going to have to actually sit here and take a look for a few minutes, if you guys don't mind. And even if you do, too bad. I need to do it anyway, so... It's just one of those things, guys. I do apologize, but it has to be done. Um, I think it was the rocket boots we were going to try to improve. That's what I'd like to say, and I'm going to say it. So we are going to put them on there. He is pleased by me. He looks like he added some stuff. I don't know if this is all added or just... I, I, I never understand this, really. Maybe these are all added unless they were already there. I'm really confused. I don't know. Because there's times where it looks like he added a bunch of stuff, and in reality he only added one thing, so... Well, I suppose that's what you get when dealing with gods. Little G, mind you. Alright. We are going to do some damage on these people, and or creatures. Critical. Critical hit. Oh no! That was uh, a little scary there. Your life force is running out. <gasps> oh no, guys! Well, there you have it. I don't know what horrible thing just got put on me, but wow, that did a lot of damage. I even healed up to 30 points of health, and I'm like, alright, I'm out of all the AoE, and then that little cyclone thing just stayed on me, and down I went. Well, guys, we made it to level 7. Unfortunately, we didn't accomplish much in there. I felt we were doing really, really well, and well, I was a little overconfident yet again. But this has been a really, really long and really, really good uh, Let's Play, or... Well, I suppose it's a weekly run, so it's not so good, considering this is week two. But, I am going to point everyone who has watched my original Let's Play, which was just abysmal, four episodes in, and <laughs> I actually felt like I did decent. No, I did not. I did bad. I will point them to this series, and hopefully they'll enjoy it. So, thank you all for joining me. I'm Bumpy McSquiggums. Unfortunately, Axie McRockman just couldn't handle the tornado. Just came up, slapped him upside the head, and it just kept spinning, and, well, you can only spin your head so far before, well, your neck snaps, and apparently that's what happened to Axie McRockman. So, there we have it. That is the end of our epic tale into the Dungeons of Dreadmoor. I will not do another run until my new computer is up and running, so maybe week five, week six, look for another run of Dungeons of Dreadmoor for the weekly runs. Um, next week, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I assure you it will be... Well, different, I can't say better. Um, different and probably shorter than this run was. So, thank you guys for joining me yet again. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys if you watch from beginning to end. That's awesome. Really, you really stuck it out there, and, and I appreciate that. And I promise you, quality will improve, guys. It will improve very shortly. So, thanks again, and... Um, Till next time, guys, I'm Bumpy McSquiggums, and I'll catch you later.